Hey guys, uh, this week it's been the Denifrips versus PS Audio Direct Stream DAC Senior Week uh, over here on Joey G's Audio Channel. Uh, thanks again for uh, watching the videos. I uh, haven't really done too much in the last uh, couple of months, nothing really to report on. Um, Kef Journey is uh, still continuing. I got the crossovers done in both speakers. Um, there's going to be another Kef video coming up soon. It's going to be interesting. Uh, making some major changes in my rig here, um, which you can't see right now, but that's topic for another Come video. happy. Come on, come. Come, baby. No? Okay. So what are my thoughts on the Denifrips deck? Um, honestly, it keeps up with this guy on everything except the upper mid-range, which tends to have a bit of a hello, I'm here kind of presentation. It's not fatiguing at all. Um, I just, I could hear the difference and I didn't like it. Uh, everything else though, uh, treble extension, uh, lower bass, mid bass, it equals the PS Audio DAC there. My pet peeves against the uh, Denifrips DAC, there's no remote control and I change inputs on the fly a lot when I'm doing critical listening. Um, same thing when I'm streaming uh, Netflix or YouTube or Amazon. You know, so I need to be able to change from my couch potato uh, sweet spot on the sofa, right? I shouldn't have to get up to do that, which is, trust me, it's annoying. For those of you remote control junkies, you'll know what I mean. Um, the other thing I didn't like about it was the coaxial or the, uh, the SPDIF uh, input doesn't work over, uh, with 192 kilohertz 24-bit files. Uh, it works fine on 9624 files 1644 files it's, it's all good there but it will not play back 192.24 over coax and i2s um, using usb 192 files will play back fine I, I don't know if it's because of the unit or if it needs to have a firmware upgrade i don't know you know but those were my thoughts on that the other thing that would have been nice is a second i2s input um, again because I'm spoiled with the PS Audio DAC, you know, Ted gives you two I2S inputs, so I use one for PCM playback, and I use the other one for uh, DSD and SACD disc playback. You know, again, using those uh, HDMI to I2S uh, adapter boards that uh, I did a video on a few months ago. So that said, the other issue that I have with the Denifrips DAC, and again, being spoiled with this guy, there is no uh, volume control. There is no uh, switchable attenuator. So, you know, what you get is a resistor to resistor ladder DAC, you know, with a really, really awesome sound. I'm not going to say, you know, it's that whole upper mid range thing. It doesn't present itself all the time, but it presents itself on some tracks, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, this guy, you know, it's an all rounder. Uh, if, if you like more of a vinyl, you know, LP-like playback presentation, which PS Audio does and uh, this DAC does in droves. This guy is, yeah, if you'd, have to, you'd have to try it. I mean, if, if they did a 30-day trial where you could try it for 30 days and then, and then return it, get your money back, I would suggest going that route. You know, don't just buy it because of some uh, uh, reviewer on YouTube because this is chi-fi at its finest, right? You know, it's built like a brick, you know, what house, right? Um, whereas this guy's a lot easier to take around and carry around, as I found out last Saturday. Um, I put this DAC into a couple of friends' systems, and uh, they all like what they heard. Um, some of, some people just don't care if it's chai fi or not, right? Other people were like, well, you know, is, is the company going to be around in a few years? I'm like, I don't know. It, just, it sounds good, right? You know, but at four, over four thousand three hundred dollars, you know, it's 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 a it's a leap of faith. You know, there's there's no argument there. They do have uh, distribution in Singapore, I believe. So when you go on their website, it's all in uh, Singapore dollars. Um, so yeah, again, every everything anything you buy overseas is always going to be buyer beware. Um, as a one one friend of mine commented after I hooked this up in his system. Um, he's actually uh, moving back to California, so we set it up in his bedroom system. And it, it was kind of fluky, but it got, it got the job done. Basically, I went, 
He had a, a Denon CD player. We took the HDMI out from it, plugged, plugged that into his TV, and then ran the optical cable from his TV into the optical input of the DAC here. And he immediately noticed the difference. He, you know, it was basically, you know, he, he's got other uh, budget DACs on, 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 in his rig, so, you know, he immediately noticed the difference, and he liked what he heard. Um, took it over to another friend system. He's got a pair of uh, Focal Canto number twos, I think they are. And same thing. Um, he was able to immediately notice the difference. Um, and, you know, he asked the usual questions and all that. But so it, it's, it's, it's a great DAC. I'm not going to start, you know, you know, everything what Gutenberg and what uh, Darko have said on YouTube, it's true, you know. Um, I tend to lean more on the Darko review side of things where what he said is true. Um, other than that, though, you know, I will still swear by this guy probably for the rest of my life. You know, this guy here's a bit of a leap of faith. You know, at least you know if you get the PS Audio DAC, you don't like it, you just send it back in 30 days. It's not a big deal. So that's my opinions on the uh, Denifrips uh, Terminator DAC. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there's another one coming up very soon on Orchard Audio uh, Bosk amplifiers. Uh, my rig's going through a major change right now, which is why this was purely a headphones only review this week. Um, it wouldn't be fair of me to do a, a speaker, you know, over the speakers review because my rigs, my, my amps and everything are not here anymore. I'll get to that in the Orchard Audio video soon. And basically that's it, folks, you know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.